I was born on Wednesday the 17th of April, 1878, in Woodford Green, Essex, and educated at Moira House in Eastbourne, an unusually progressive girls' school. During later years, I was taught art, philosophy, and world mythology. Later, I studied sculpture at the Slade School of Art in London under Sir George Frampton. I travelled extensively throughout Europe to study classical statues and also gained knowledge of esoteric symbolism in the ancient world. At the age of 23, I married a successful businessman, John Maltwood. He was a Freemason and shared my great interest in world religions and art. During our time at Tadworth, Surrey, John was working away in London and I concentrated on starting my sculpting career at our home. In 1910, I created my first significant sculpture that I called Magna Mater. I wanted to create a powerful and dynamic statement acknowledging the goddess of all things. I included an inscription. Great Travai is created for every man, from the day that he goes out of his mother's womb till the day that he returns to the mother of all things. I exhibited this sculpture at the Royal Academy in 1911 and even had a piece in the Evening Standard describing my sculpture as a Blake-like figure and going on to say, the sculpture is monumental, alike in form and feeling. I produced a sculpture for the church font at Tadworth Church, full of Christian and Masonic symbolism, but the First World War brought everything to a standstill. I decided to petition the War Office and eventually we set up a small hospital to tend the wounded. In 1917 we moved to Chilton Priory in Somerset, a most unusual building created by the antiquarian Freemason William Stradling. This was where I first encountered aerial photography. I began to study maps and the landscape in great detail. All the ingredients were now in place for my discovery of the Temple of the Stars. From my studies of the landscape, local history, aerial photography, archaeology, folklore, Masonic mystery traditions and the book, The High History of the Holy Graal, that placed King Arthur's adventures in Somerset. I studied day after day in the Tower of the Priory. I shall never forget my utter amazement when the truth dawned on me that the outline of a lion was drawn by the curves of the Carey River below the old capital of Somerset. So that was the origin of the legendary lion that I'd been questing. A nature effigy and god of sun worshippers. Obviously, if the lion was a nature effigy, then the dragon, griffin and the giants etc. must be likewise. Perhaps this was the most thrilling moment of my discovery. I lay claim to the discovery, delineation and localization of these effigy constellation giants. My subsequent speculations and suggestions are feelers put forth in the hope of attracting more light upon an obscure but universal subject. For now that the riddle as to the object of the quest has been solved, and localised in the neighbourhood of Glastonbury, we can look to others to settle the debatable questions. <laughs>